Hey guys, welcome back to another art video. Today we're doing some watercolor, some abstract watercolor. And this piece was kind of practice for a future piece I'm going to work on. And when I started working on this, I really just didn't know what I was doing um, as far as like the colors. So I just kind of went in with different blues and made zigzags because that's part of my next piece. Um, yeah, I just was like, let's do this <laughs> and we'll do layers and then I made the color, I made the blues darker, like the further I went up. And after that, I wanted to do like magenta slash like a violet magenta colors on the bottom. And this was kind of the idea I came up with, was like doing sections of like a puzzle piece, I guess, on the other side. And I just used the different kinds of colors, the different kinds of magentas I have and then I mixed some magentas with purple and then some of my upper pink and just did some different variations on the bottom side. And you'll see in the end, I end up making this piece go the other way because I really, really liked how it looked. Um, But yeah, I do three layers for each thing, except for on the blue one, I decided to do some, do four layers. I added one more, but yeah. And then I continue layering these. And I think the, f in a future one, I don't know. I kind of like was getting a little upset because I was making like little mistakes, but then I was like realizing that I have to not be, I don't know. It's kind of like just rem reminding myself that I can't be like a perfectionist sometimes. I mean, sometimes you have to be perfect and you need to make your stuff like you know, really good. Well, like something like this, I have to realize like it doesn't need to be like insanely perfect. Like as far as like the lines and like making sure like a certain color doesn't touch another color. Like I just kind of was like, whatever. I'm just gonna keep painting and enjoy the process. And I did so. I had two more sections of this and I think they even out nicely. And then after I, um, see, I was going to just make this opera pink only. And then I was like, nah, it's too bright. And I was right, it was. So I darkened it up a bit. But I've been, uh, one of my magentas. Which opera pink and this magenta I'm adding are the same thing. So opera pink has like a fluorescent um, pigment in it, but they're like the same color. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this uh, for this piece. I like the video. Keep playing. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back here with another one tomorrow. Bye, guys.